Hey guys, so let's start off by saying congratulations to you guys in uh, South Carolina, Charleston, because uh, I haven't seen the, the videos yet, but you guys did have the Andrew Yang in your presence, and uh, I hope you guys have fun, okay? So I wanted to talk about a question that came up when I was at uh, the New York rally. And the guy that was uh, sitting, uh, sitting while standing next to me, uh, we were just talking about like, oh, like how do we uh, like s come about supporting Andrew Yang and all that fun stuff. And he um, he asked me, and I, I believe he was of an Asian descent, uh, and he asked me uh, something on the lines of, oh, well, just curious, uh, does uh, Andrew Yang uh, offend black people in any way? Like, how are you guys feeling about him just, like, as an Asian person running for, for president, <clears throat> you know? So I was like, oh, snap, like, that's, like, no big deal. If anything, we're pro we, we probably relate to each other a, a lot, actually. Um, and, I, and, you know, now that I, like, reflect on it, like, I figured I'd make a video about it because it matters, you know, like, <clears throat> Even though he, uh, Andrew Yang, does not um, talk about like his race uh, that much in his like speeches and like just in general, um, it does matter. Like how how do you like you know it for me personally? How does a black person perceive Andrew Yang and like does the race even matter or what? Okay, so <clears throat> sorry, it's phlegmy. So I thought like okay. There are some some like parallels or correlations between um, how black people are treated and how Asian people are treated, at least in America. Okay, so I figured that the most basic and general explanation is that for the most part, and I'm talking very generally, okay, for the most part, I think most Americans uh, probably perceive Asian people as more of like the passive type, more of the the type of person that um, doesn't really uh, uh, instigate stuff, doesn't like to just keep to themselves, um, likes to help others, likes to be in like a submissive state of mind, I guess, which is like totally just that I understand where that, where that comes from, but obviously not every Asian person is like that. And on the other hand, um, generally speaking in America, when people view a uh, black person, it, uh, we kind of come off, if you haven't met us, we kind of come off as a little bit like extra, a little bit like intimidating or aggressive, um, just by the way that maybe like the way that we walk, the way that we talk, whatever. And of course we have a history of being like, a very like out uh expressive group of people okay uh so you it's kind of like the inverse i guess like when people was if you're walking down the street if you see an asian, an asian person you really wouldn't think that much of them like kind of think okay an asian person whatever um but if you uh saw a black person walking down the street you'd probably be like on like the defensive side a little bit Obviously, like, in places like New York, they don't really care. Like, in places like L.A., don't really care that much. But, for instance, where I live, I live in Delaware, and it's still pretty, like, conservative over, over here. Like, even though some people, well, a lot of people um, from from all different types of race, races have, um, can come from, like, New York or Philly or New Jersey, uh and there's a there's a lot of different cultures cultures here <laughs> cultures here <laughs> but i definitely get the sense that like it's not really like it's, it's a difference between just being here and being accepted you know on a on a general basis i think at least in delaware uh if you're different that's not necessarily a good thing so <clears throat> i just think that's very interesting that he, uh, the person at the rally had asked me about that because I'm like, oh, I didn't even really think that that was a problem. But I guess, you know, like, again, we when you think of a black person, you think of somebody that is very, like, intense, very, um, can be, like, intimidating. 
so I understand from like if you are Asian, you 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 know you're like oh like like are you okay with this? But you'd be surprised of like how many uh, how many black people like like we were. I think well, I think like we kind of respect Asian people. I think I do. Obviously, I'm a bit biased because. I actually told him, the guy, I told him that, like, well, I actually love Asian culture. Specifically, like, I got into K-pop and I'm actually learning Korean. <laughs> and he was like, oh, snap. Be like, you know, what do you think about, like, Blackpink and the, I don't know, what other groups are did, uh, Twice or whatever. And I was like, oh, they're fine, whatever. But, like, I like my, like, underground groups, like, my groups that are, like, kind of underrated. <laughs> but, yeah, like, and it's for real. Like, I've, um... I've been into K-pop for about five years now. Not that long of a time. Some people have been into it for like 10 years. But it's a good amount of time. Um, and I've been like really um, inten uh, intentionally learning Korean for about three years now. Um, and <laughs> we had to mention BTS because like BTS is really big. And I told him that like, this is, I'm derailing. But like I told him, if you guys don't know, BTS is like the biggest K-pop group in the world right now. The seven boys. Okay, bang tang so and then. And um I told him that like I'm not really into them that much anymore because I find their music kinda just like kinda like basic really. <laughs> it just sounds like, you know, your general your pop music and you know, I kinda like the old angsty, like edgy BTS from like War of Hormone era from like Boys in Love, you know, all that stuff. Um, uh, not boys with love, boys boys boy in love or whatever. But I do appreciate how um, hard they've they've worked. Like you can't take them away from them. They didn't just like get famous from nothing. They really have worked really hard. And, and I was like, okay, I appreciate them for that. But yeah. So okay, BTS ran over. <laughs> but yeah, like on Andrew Yang, I mean, it's not even it. Like I said, like race doesn't matter because he is clearly Asian, and people have their uh, like uh. Um, not prejudices, but they have uh, their preconceptions of Asian people ingrained in their mind. I know that Asian people can be different. Like they're not all the same. They're not robotic. Because I'm into K-pop, and I and I've I've seen uh, members be like kind of crazy. Some of them be very like introverted. Some of them being like anywhere in between. <laughs> so I appreciate that, and I know that they're actual they're, they're, they're people. You know. That people with flaws, some people, uh, uh, there are people that make mistakes, but they're also cool too, okay? So, um, yeah, I mean, this is very interesting. Like, Andrew Yang kind of like transcends like race in general. Like, he, he, he really made a great decision on not banking on his race. He mentions it a couple of times, but he really is like, uh, he acts like an American and he talks like an American and he just, you can just tell that he cares about America. And that just kind of like blew my mind when I first like, uh, saw him. I was like, Oh my God. Like, like, I feel like he really like, I, I know I've said this before, but I feel like I really know him. I feel like, like, like we're here, like we are here, you know, Andrew, like, He's not just some person who is, I feel like, is trying to get alternative motives or anything like that. He genuinely cares, and he feels like an American. <laughs> I think it's funny how, like, uh, people ask him, like, I think I've said this before, too, but people have asked him in the past, like, oh, can you speak in, like, Chinese, and how good is your Mandarin and stuff? And he's like, it's not that good, actually. <laughs> it's not that good, but, like, I'll try, you know? I was like, oh, my God, like, that is so adorable. <laughs> to me it's like yeah like he he's not he's really not like he's not perfect you know but but he um he tries it's, it's like oh my god Andrew really like you can't speak um but yeah that just goes to show how much like he really is like kind of like so engulfed in like American culture that he kind of doesn't even know like Mandarin that well I mean, he does but like you know not to like the highest of extent so yeah, guys, I thought I would, like, just give you my opinions on that. I mean, like, 
there's a lot of I, I think there's like a lot of like black people that like Andrew Yang too. So if you're one of them, hey like let 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 us know what you think about him and you know, does race play a factor? If it does, why? If you don't like him, why? If you do like him, why? Um yeah, I don't even know what else to say. Like it's it's so like a non factor really. But I figured I'd mention it because I am black. I'm clearly black, and you guys recognize that. And I figured you guys would be curious to know what I think about uh, that in general. So, you guys, uh, I'll be back with a new video tomorrow about Andrew Yang and probably like about like other stuff, like newest to and probably Doom Patrol. If you die, oh my god, guys, Doom Patrol on DC Universe. But yeah. Thank you for watching. Yeah, that's it. Bye.